much instability, so much that we don't understand, that, that we don't know. For me, growing up, it was, uh, a lot of you guys know, my mom died giving birth to me, and my dad remarried, then my stepmom died in a car accident when I was nine, then my dad got married again, then my dad died of cancer when I was 12, and so I'm in junior high, my mom's dead, my stepmom's dead, my dad's dead. The only close relatives I had were my, my aunt and uncle, George and Sandra. And then when I was in high school, they got in a fight, and my uncle George shot and killed my aunt, and then stuck the gun to his own head, killed himself. So I'm 16 years old, and this is life to me, going, man, what's next? Everything seems to be falling apart, and we get a little worried, we get a little scared. And this is what Christians do, you know, they try to serve God, but then things get a little rocky. And things get a little unstable. And so we go, okay, that was nuts. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to live like that. Let me, uh, let me hold on. And this is your routine. This is what so many people do. They go, you know what? I'm not going to try anything crazy. I'm just going to sit here. And uh, I'm just going to hold on. And uh, this is what you look like. You just go... Uh, this is what people do. You know what? I'm just going to have my nice little family. We're just going to... Um, you know, we're just going to keep to ourselves. We're going to live in a gated community. I'm going to homeschool my kids, make them wear helmets everywhere. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm not going to let them outside because sun has bad rays. I'm going to, um, you know, just on and on and on. And you just live your life in the safety of, I don't want to do anything crazy for God. I just, I just want to, you know, go to church on Sundays and maybe give like 2%. Um, and uh, maybe serve, help the nursery, because I feel guilty. And then you do this your whole life, and then you, you go, your greatest prayer is like, God, you know what, I would love to die in my sleep and not even feel it, and then just go up to heaven. And so th you want to die like this, just in your sleep, ooh, right in the middle of a dream, good dream, the dream you're going to heaven, and you don't even feel it, and then suddenly you wake up, you stand before the judge, and you go, Now, if, uh, could you imagine, could you imagine watching the Olympics, you know, and some girl does that, just gets up there, starts straddling the thing, and then steps off and goes, what is the judge supposed to do on the card? You see, and to me, I go, man, that's the routine that so many Christians are headed for. That's the routine, the boring, I do nothing crazy because I don't want to fall. I, I, that's the routine that they're going to live, and then one day it's going to be a shock because they're going to step off that balance beam and realize they're standing before the judge. They're standing before the judge, and you think he's going to look at that routine and go, wow, well done. Well done. You lived the safest life possible. You didn't slip. You didn't fall. See, that's not the life that God's called us to. That's where the majority will head. But I don't want to go where the majority goes.